What's up? What's up, everybody? Today we are here on the China server account because we finally got a Fuki, the Wind Onimusha. So I was playing around with Fuki. I tried him on a couple of different rune builds. Um, I'm not sure, like, I keep flip-flopping on how I feel about him. I'm like, oh, he's pretty cool, uh, but he's, why would I use him over this unit? Uh, but then we got this unit, I'm like, why? I don't know, I flip-flop. I feel like he's probably about average power level unit in general. Uh, let's take a look at his skills. Let's uh, take him into some things. Let's see how he does. He is an HP-based bruiser unit. However, he is not just an HP-based bruiser. He is also an attack based unit because he actually does his passive is based on hp and he's classified as an hp unit but he does do damage based on his attack he's got additional damage based on his hp but his primary source of damage is his attack power so let's take a look so so this is kind of misleading that it's hp because he's not just hp he needs um speed because everything needs speed he needs hp and he needs attack power right so he actually, he doesn't need crit rate, he doesn't need crit damage, as you can see. He does, I mean, accuracy he can use for skill one, um, for the, you know, the defense break. But you could just put accuracy for an artifact. Like, skill one accuracy is an artifact. You don't really need to worry too much about the accuracy um, on here. But you do actually need some attack power, because his skills are based still on attack power. So let's take a look at the skills here. We have Ghost Slash. Attacks the enemy two times, recovers HP by 30%, and decreases defense. Uh, goes up. I don't have skills for this guy. I wish I had skills for him. I have no Devil Mons I can even use for him. But, uh, I mean, I'm kind of in two ways about, like, using Devil Mons for Nat Force anyway. But even if I could, I don't have them to uh, to be able to use. So this is the, the same thing as the other ones. Not anything too crazy. Damage based on his attack power, though. Keep that in mind. Um, even though he's an HP-based bruiser. Uh, then we have the second skill, Tax All Enemies Grants Endure Effect on Yourself for one turn if an enemy gets defeated. So, this is still also based on his attack power. It's a 1250 multiplier, which is a pre uh, pretty big multiplier, actually. Uh, reusable in three turns after it's fully skilled up. Damage goes up a decent amount with the skill ups. You know, we got a 15% extra damage there on the last one, right? So, that's, that's not bad. However, even though he's an HP-based bruiser, this is still damage that's based on his attack power. So, keep that in mind, he does need still some attack power. Uh, passive, Calculated Sacrifice Passive, decreases your current HP by 20% at the start of each turn, inflicts additional damage by 20% of the lost HP when you attack on your turn. Critical hits won't occur when attacking the enemy. So, of course, we don't need crit, crit damage, which we already talked about, which is the same as uh, all the other ones of these guys, right? Um, additional damage by 20% of the lost HP when you attack on your turn. So let's say that we have this guy on... You know, 11, 370 plus, th so we got him on like 30, whatever, 1,000, 32,000 plus damage, uh, sorry, HP, 32,000 HP. Let's say he loses two-thirds of this. Let's say he is, uh, he loses the 21,000 during the course of battle, things hit him, he sucks up his HP as well. Also, he heals as well. He sucks up his HP, but he also heals. But, um... Yeah, let's say he loses 21,000 of that, right? So he's down 21,000 HP. Uh, then we do additional damage by 20% of the lost HP. So 20% of that is 4,000 uh, HP additional damage. Which is not really too crazy for an AoE 40... Uh, not 40... 40,000 would be crazy. 4,000 is not really anything too exciting. 4,000 extra damage AoE. We get a little bit more value out of that for the first skill, though. Um, but remember, additional damage is kind of like pure damage, right? So additional damage is 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 kind of better against things that have high defense that are not defense broken. Like, I feel like he may actually be pretty decent against like an Artemel, right? Or like a Feng Yen, he might be pretty decent to get. Or, or like a Dark Paladin. I feel like he might be kind of decent against those. But like also, Skogel exists too. So like, if he does damage based on his lost HP, that's pure damage. Skogel also does damage based on, you know, pure damage. Not even based on his lost HP, just based on his his HP total, right? So, would I use this guy over Skogel? Ramagos also uh, kind of the same. And those two units are much easier to skill up, right? And Ramagos is a two-way. He just does damage based on his, his lost HP as well. He doesn't uh, activate it himself by decreasing HP at the beginning of his turn. But he also does damage based on his uh, his lost HP. Ramagaz is super easy to skill up. So, um, and he also has really good stats. And he also doesn't need attack power. So that's kind of the situation here. It's like, you do need 
HP for that additional damage, and again, it's pure damage, and you also do need attack power on this guy as well. So, the nice thing about him, now now we'll get through the things that I think are maybe his issues. I mean, they're, they're, there's pros and cons, right? He's not, like, super OP, but he's also, he's, he's actually usable. Um... The nice thing about him is you could just put him on, you know, those Fatal Runes, which is like, you know, you got some good HP on the Fatal Runes. You're like, I have these Fatal Runes, and I have attack and HP and speed on them, but I don't have accuracy, so I can't use him for a bomber. I don't have crit rate crit damage, so I can't use him for a normal DPS unit. This guy needs speed, HP, and attack. You've got some Fatal Runes with good speed, HP, and attack. I mean, this is, again, the China server account, so we don't have crazy runes on this. Um, he's kind of weaker as far as the runes, as far as the accounts are concerned. He's not like the best account, but we at least can see him kind of like this. And then we'll switch the runes to make him just an HP unit that, uh, that doesn't really have much attack power. And then we'll see how he does, uh, one comparison to the other. Test number one, we're going to take him in with a bruiser, kind of like a passive bruiser team over here against an aggressive defense. Um, now, remember, he is, he's on just hybrid, as I mentioned. He's on speed, HP attacks. So he's not going to do a ton of damage based on his attack power. And he's not going to do a ton of damage based on here. It's kind of just like a mix of things, right? So we're going to test him out like this. We don't have any attack buff defense breaks uh, in this test, so he's not going to do a ton of damage here. We're just going to kind of see how this build does with his uh, calculate, what is it, calculated sacrifice. Is that what it says? His passive. Um, so we'll kind of get a feel for him in this scenario. And he's going to get stunned. He's not going to get stunned, okay. But he gets slowed. It doesn't really matter that he gets slowed, though. Uh, let's just do one of these. Let's do one of these. And let's see. He's got about 40% of his HP. It looks like it's about 40% of his HP done, right? So uh, that should do... How much would 40% of his HP be? Like, well, also towers taken to, like, guild flags and towers and stuff like that. Maybe he's got 40,000 HP, so that would be, what, 16,000, and then he's going to do 20% extra damage on 16,000, so that's, uh, like, 3,200 damage, extra damage. I don't know. I'm trying to do it uh, off the top of my head. So, uh, yeah, 3,200 damage, not really that much. And then he doesn't have attack buff or defense break. So let's see how much damage he actually winds up doing here. Not anything too crazy, right? Not anything really too crazy to write home about. So that's uh, 3,200 damage versus 32,000 damage. Let's see if we can kill this Chimera over here. We have, well, actually, he's got about twice that amount of damage uh, reduced now. So he should do an extra, I would say, like, he's got, like, 80% of his HP missing, right? So he should do an extra uh, 64, uh, am I thinking too crazy? 64,000, uh, not, not, not 1,000, 6,400 damage per hit extra, right? In addition to the damage uh, that he would normally do here. So let's see. So it didn't do that much normal damage, but it did do a decent amount of additional damage. Like, the normal damage without that uh, additional damage would have been uh, not really anything too exciting. Alright, so let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. And then let's do, again, so it looks like he's about, uh, it looks like he's about 55% damage uh, not there. Damage removed, so let's see how much damage he does here. That's, it's, not that, it's not that bad. We should make him tanky, though. Tankier. I mean, defense-wise. Because it seems like he's taken... But that's my fault for not having enough defense in the subs and stuff. But, uh, yeah. And we're still going to do... Remember, he doesn't need to crit or not crit. So we're still going to do decent damage against this guy. Not that bad. Right? And then we just do one of these. But I feel like I might use him in a kind of team like this against more of an aggressive defense. It's not as exciting to see as, you know, big damage. We want to see him with the uh, galley and this stuff, but he could be useful, like, against aggressive defenses. Test number two, we're going to see him with a little bit more damage. He's got the galleon in here for the attack buff defense break. However, he does not have full uh, DPS runes. So if we wanted to do full DPS, we would do triple attack, you know, attack, 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 and then speed and HP and subs. Um, so we can't see the full... We're, we're, we'll try him out like that after, but we're going to try him with Galleon as a hybrid build, right? 
So we'll see, uh, we'll see how much this does. And then again, we'll try him with a uh, full HP bruiser. And then we'll try him also with, um, what else? Full HP bruiser, and then we'll try him with more attack power. Like just triple attack. So let's see, we're on one. We've got the attack buff, we've got the defense break. Let's see how much Blade Slaughter does. So we're gonna get very little additional damage from this skill, right? Very little. He's got almost no HP missing. Uh, but this with the 1250 multiplier is going to come into play now. So that's where the damage is going to come from over here. All right, so we see more damage. But um, not crazy damage. So we're, we're, let's try him now. We're going to do him for... We're going to do him with full damage. Now we have him full damage. Remember, he's still an HP type unit. But we have him full damage because this is going to do damage still based on his attack power. So... This is not going to do as much damage from his uh, sacrificed HP. Yeah, sacrificed HP and HP that he lost. He's going to sacrifice some tankiness, but he's going to do more damage with the skill 1 and skill 2. Less damage from the additional HP damage. And also, he doesn't have crazy high base attack because he's a HP based unit. So we have triple attack. We have attack in the subs as well. So he's all attacks. We're going to use him with uh, Galleon and Triana as well. So let's see how much damage this does he doesn't get the added bonus of like the water one like how you know the water one gets the nice we needed them to do that i would have just restarted if they didn't do that though <laughs> and just restarted the match i'd be like let's keep going um so he doesn't get the like additional dam not additional damage the the stacks like the water one does if the enemy gets more turns right so let's see how much he does he didn't really lose too much hp but he's not on a full i mean he wasn't on a full hp build before but he's not on a crazy hp build now um he's more just here for the damage at this point so this should kill everything let's see how much damage it does well not everything not the chibu of course but yeah that's how much damage we can expect him to do if we make him uh like that but i don't really think that we necessarily want if we're gonna make a full dps unit like this um we would use something else not necessarily the uh, the Fuki, right? We don't want to make him a squishy DPS. We kind of want to make him like a, a bruiser kind of thing. In this next test, we've got him full tank. We've got no attack, almost no attack power at all. We've got like plus 294 attack power, which is almost nothing. He's on speed HP HP. He's got almost, f uh, on violent will, he's got almost 40,000 HP. No attack power. So he's not going to do very much damage at all. Let's test him out. Let's see how much damage he's going to do. I mean, he's going to do a little bit of damage with the skill 3, but this should be very, very abysmal uh, damage over... Oh, nice. Again, if it's uh, if it's doing the wrong thing, I just restart the restart the match. Because I know we're taking it very, very YOLO, hoping they don't uh, strip and CC and things like that, but I'm just restarting the match if it does the wrong thing. But, uh, yeah, anyway, let's see. It should do almost no damage. Even with attack buff, defense break, you should be, like, ready to cry at the uh, amount of damage it does. Look at that. Didn't really do that much damage, right? So his damage is... Ba most of his damage from here is based on his... Uh, these two skills are based on his uh, attack power. So the nice thing about the additional damage based on his passive is it basically... It's, it basically ignores defense, so it's kind of nice against defense tanky units. So he's an HP tank that is good against uh, defense tanky units. And he still kills, you know, the, she had a defense break, he still killed things. But the thing is that, I don't know why I didn't go for the Galleon there. The thing is there that you want to have HP on him, but you also want to have attack power on him. Because if he doesn't have attack, he doesn't do any damage. Well, he does damage with the the additional HP based damage, but you do still want to make sure that he has good attack power. So speed, HP, and attack are your best friends here. Like all those runes that have speed, HP, attack, and you're like, well, it's got attack, but it doesn't have crit rate crit damage. It doesn't have accuracy, so crit rate crit damage is not good for other DPS, attack-based DPS units. And then doesn't have accuracy, so, you know, you normally, like, if you have fatal runes that have, like, speed and attack on them, you want accuracy if you were going to run it on a bomber. But if you got fatal runes that have speed, attack, and HP, like a lot of speed, attack, HP, defense, resistance even, and like, what do I use this for? It doesn't have crit rate crit damage, but it's a fatal rune. This guy actually makes sense of those runes so i think that one of the nice things about him is that he uses runes that other monsters wouldn't necessarily be the primary candidate for 
Last match, we've gone full circle. We're taking him again with the Huadam Rakuni team. He is still on the HP build, so he's just fast and tanky. He's got no attack power, so he's going to do no... He's going to do very little damage based on these, but he's going to do uh, damage based on this calculated sacrifice. That's what it's called, right? Calcul calculated sacrifice? Yeah, calculated sacrifice passive. So he's going to do... We're hoping that he takes... Decent damage, but not, like, fatal damage. Right? With that uh, calculated sacrifice. I'm going to do damage, or take damage, but not die from that. Alright, so he took some damage. Not a ton. We healed that whole dam up some. So, this one, this should do garbage. There's no attack buff, there's no defense break, he doesn't have any fatal... Uh, runes on him. He's got very low attack power. This should do almost no damage at all, right? The only da most of the damage is just from his lost HP right there. Really, not any, not any damage. Very, very lackluster damage. No, don't kill him. Well, he's not gonna kill him anyway, is he? All right. Don't die from the dot. That's very disappointing if you die if he dies from the dot. Okay, so let's see here. But you see, he doesn't really do too much damage with this. We actually still could come back from this. Funny enough, we can come back from this. Based on the fact that they're stunned. <laughs> Just based on that. Uh, I do think that we need to kill her. Look at that. We did decent enough damage with that uh, skill 1. Which is nice, because we, we got to see how much damage he can do when he's, very, when he's tanky and he's very low on HP. So, that was kind of the point. I was really hoping for that. I was hoping we would get to get to see that. So, let's see. Again, look how much damage he's missing. He is a tanky build. That's how much damage he's missing. And he's going to do 20% of that as additional HP. So, even though he didn't do too much damage at the beginning of the match, now he's going to do much more damage. Look at that. Not bad. And he also heals as well. So, that's when the comeback happens. But he does actually still need to be even tankier than this. So, and he even does decent damage, and he gets additional turns, and he does even decent damage against uh, fire units. But I kind of like, for his uh, tankier build, I kind of like his first skill more than his second skill, I think. If he's on uh, super tanky. Because it just hits twice, and you get more... Well, but it, it depends, I guess. I was going to say you get more value out of that, but it really depends on the situation. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Glad we finally got him, and I do feel like the best build for him is just to take those fatal runes that you got that have the attack, speed, HP, defense, and resistance, and you're like, who do I use this on? Because everything else needs crit rate, or the bombers need accuracy too. You're like, who do I use? There's good value. They're good value runes but you don't know who exactly to put them on. And I think Fuki is the best option for those runes. So the nice thing about him is that he uses runes that maybe other units don't necessarily use. But on the downside, it's like his HP base damage, you could also build Skogel, which is easier to skill up. You can build Ramagos, which is easier to skill up. Uh, and then as far as like pure damage dealing wind unit, there's Lucian, right? But he's kind of as a bruiser. He's not in the same league as Lucian. That's why I feel like he shouldn't even be built full YOLO damage. That's not the point of Fuki. The, the point of Fuki is you want him to have attack power for sure, but you also want to make sure that he is super tanky. You want him to make uh, fast, tanky. I also think that defense and resistance is kind of important on him based on the fact that he's an HP-based bruiser uh, in the current meta. So anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Maybe you guys got something out of it. Uh, and I will see you as always in the next one.